Man, I love a fucking organ. Mmm. Organ as in freaky piano and also as in uh, liver. Mmm. 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 Liver meat. Get into that. Liver worst. Onion. Deli mustard. Some Jewish rye. You know what I'm talking about? You can, you can toast it. You can leave it as is, man. That shit make your tongue come. All right. It'll slow you down, though. I'll tell you that much. It's not something you eat before a whitewater rafting trip. If you get what I'm putting down. Liver and onions and mustard. Hell yeah. You gotta get it from a good sandwich shop or a deli though, all right? You never wanna like buy it at a place you know doesn't sell it that often. Just sitting on the bottom of the refrigerator, congealing and shit. You don't want that. You want that real shit. That juicy shit. You squishy shit. Yeah, it's squishy. It's liver and onion and mustard. Not yellow. Not honey. Not black stone. But deli. It's deli mustard. Yeah. There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Doing our best. It's him. It's him. Hey time, guys. It's Holy time. shit, Eddie! Yeah. 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 It's liver <laughs> and onion. I'm putting this and down mustard. for all you motherfuckers. All right, truly. Jewish pride. Yeah. This guy reminds <laughs> all of us because it's real. Like these, there are things that are on menus for a reason, and it's because they're good. Yeah. Liver and onions. Fuck yeah. Is good. Yeah. I was in New York this week. I went to Junior's after a show. I got a big fuck two ice cream scoops of liver. Oh my God. I was Ooh. so goddamn good. Liver. Oh, be good to yourselves, everybody. Eat Ooh. that liver. So it's it a is pate pate when you have it like yeah, that. It's a pate. pate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was like, I thought you put like a big, like the actual, like just liver, like plop it on there and it's all. Well, juice. there's liver worst, which yeah. is kind of like when, like a circle that's just sliced. Yeah. Well, liver worst is like essentially, a, so foie gras is solid liver worst, mm -hmm. where liver worst is more, it's bologna. Like it's steamed. Yeah. What, the same thing that foie gras is made out of. It's uh -huh. the liver ground up in a bunch of different spices and chunks and shit and it's made nice and creamy and then it's steamed into a cylinder and then they cut it into little slices but they're melting yeah. your mouth and then you put yeah then some red onion some raw red onion mm. some jewish rye and some deli mustard Ooh. and you make yourself the best sandwich you ever had in your goddamn life but you don't like white onion because I, I think a, I like white honestly, onion works white onion works i think a red onion is too tropical <laughs> too tropical <laughs> yeah what the fuck tropical i think it's too tropical this is his mayonnaise by the way this this is my is we're, we're, talking, we're starting off with a little bit of liver and onions but guys. it's it's important the new single out on uh eddie tunes that was good you don't sing that often but when you do it's got soul That's it really right. does it reminded yeah. me of the sopranos theme song oh yeah, yeah it does, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and i, I imagine don't sell for they, they, <laughs> that's all about a pork store you know if you want to get into it that's True. True. Yeah. Um, H. H. Homeless says that room de is definitely about to smell like ham. He actually smells pleasant. Ham, he does. Ham, 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 <laughs> ham, 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 ham. Yeah, ham. we're bringing it Throw here. the hams in the chat, yeah. everybody. Yeah. I want to yeah. see yeah. the hams. Yeah. Can they throw yeah. hams in the yeah. chat yeah. over here? Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. Ham, 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 ham. Look at that crotch. Ham. My balls did drop. 
That's nice. Oh man, about our, time. My balls have dropped quite a bit too. Like recently, recently. Like, yeah, yeah, recently, like Re- they've noticeably, recently. they've noticeably, uh, noticeably dropped like a millimeter or two, just yes. enough where I can't cross my legs in a certain way anymore. Yeah, welcome and, to my world, baby. Yeah, and now it kind of hurts when I use the exercise bike because now they're in a different spot than they used to be, and now everything's all fucked up. You know everything's you wrong. You can, everything's wrong now. You tape them up around your penis. Yep. Give make him a Get hat. Him up like that. <laughs> yeah, like, a more, more like a babushka. Yeah. A uh, Colin says I'm on the perfect amount of mushrooms for this right now. I'm calling the cops. Yeah, I'm calling the cops of your fucking life. You man. have <laughs> drugs in your fucking home. You better yeah. be careful, all right? Because you're about to get fucking Baker acted, dog. Your fucking mother has no eyes, and she's right behind you. Yeah, screaming. She's, about, she's about to go. She's like, I knew, I knew always. And she blows her brains out. Hell yeah. You're gonna have a great time. Is she yeah. sitting on your crucifix, or you put that on the wall? I fuck myself in hell. <laughs> um, but, but I want to quickly wrap up. Liver and onions, because again, right. I think it's a maligned food that people don't understand. It's like a white fish salad, which mm-hmm. is also like, and head cheese, and all these various things. Well, there's multiple different ways to eat liver. Yes, there's multiple ways to eat. But if you just ate it, you would be really surprised how tasty it is. Mm-hmm. It's like haggis. Yeah, I had a liver steak recently with Man. some onions on it, and that was really good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it makes you kind of crazy. Go over at Robin Hood. Yeah, and it makes your ears hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a lot of iron. Again, it's bad. It's gets a lot of cholesterol. Yeah, but what I had was the uh, was the, not was not the it was not the liver worst, but it was like the liver pate kind of two mm. scoops of ice cream type of deal, <laughs> and a bunch of pickles and some onions and some little pieces of rye, and it was great. Go to Junior's, <laughs> you go for the cheesecake, but just stay <laughs> for the liver. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, Harrison, I'm starting a new job in an office making phone calls. Henry, you played a telemarketer in a movie in an office on TV. Any advice? Never stay off the fucking phone. Yep, yep, yep. That's right, guys. You That's fucking right. dig for that. You dig for that sale. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't let them off. And if, if they give you a sob story, you just tell them, that, well, this is what's going to fix your life. Yeah, you just being like, listen, you know, what was it? The, the way you open call being like, I just, this thing came across my desk just now. And I gotta get you in on this opportunity yeah, I while got this window. I got it is this is happening right now, son. Mm-hmm. Right? Like we need you, you need to get in while the ground is cold and then it will be hot. Yeah. It's Edward's mandate. Today. Should we start the show? Why not? It's only nine. I think we should do it. There's something I wanted to start off with something cute, if that's okay. Of it's course. Your it's your, it's your mandate. mandate. This is your very I first get to mandate. do whatever I want. Anything you want. That's the thing about mandates. It's your mandate, so Anything. therefore you can do whatever you want. That's and what a mandate is. This is what we're bringing you in for. Nikki just dropped this into the fucking chat. What? Liver and onion pudding for good put. I mean, oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh I'm yeah, making Jackie. The goal for the next one is I want to make her throw up. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, because she, she can. Does she, she like handle. liver? No. I bet she would if she tried it. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yum, oh, that yum, looks amazing. Yum. That's, that's, it's so good, Marcus. You have no idea. That looks so good. Did, oh, my God. Did yeah. I thought the chicken marsala pudding made her throw up? No, no, no. It just made her fucking gag. Yeah. She's weak as fuck, though. Yeah, yeah that is Because that fucking that liver, when that liver pudding hits, son. <laughs> you have a whole show about pudding. You can't dislike any of it. Well, you, the thing about the chicken marsala pudding was that um, with the texture and the taste of it, what we realize is that this is completely healthy. This is made out of ingredients fresh today. But if you were to just blindly put this in your mouth, you would think that this was a chicken marsala that had been left in a plastic bag in a parking lot. Okay. For a long period of time. And it had it slowly became liquid. That's cool. It it's is. fucking awful. All right. Let's go to, um, you guys like hot air balloons? I love hot air balloons. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate I mean, the I like, idea. I like looking at them. Yeah, they're pretty, I like but they're, at, I'd but never go up them. Never yeah, go they're in so one. They're so beautiful. No, they're death traps. I love watching. I, they're gorgeous. Let's see. <laughs> it's gorgeous. made out of your fucking father's underwear? Hanging out in the parking lot? <laughs> I'm gonna hang out in the parking lot. What? To, oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, down. he's, yes, oh, man, please. he's. Yeah. They're really, yeah. oh no. Oh yeah. They're really, they, they, oh, it's, it's oh, not. Getting it right it's in the power not, lines. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never balloon again. <laughs> Never gonna be a balloon again. <laughs> Yeah, it was the, uh, I think everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, I love they just go, they fly away well, afterwards. Did you use your first video to show death? Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what really happens there. We'll have to, you know, maybe we'll, yeah. So you need no I mean, follow-up? No follow-up. You don't know that. if all those people died or not. Well, maybe, no, I mean, there's someone asking like, Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Are you okay? I yeah, but I didn't see a guy it. go like, 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> just like, looking like Shocker. I would oh, yeah, looking like, yeah, uh, fucking, <laughs> you know, from, like he's from a Chevy Chase movie. I would imagine that they did say, because usually if they survive, that's when they post the video. When yeah. they don't survive, that's when it, the, the video just becomes this horrible thing you keep on your phone. The only watch in your darkest moments. I no, think people, yeah, I, you know, I saw the, they have the rash of TikToks. I follow that whole thing on subreddit of TikToks of like people in hospice going like, <laughs> like in front of their like dead grandmother. You know what I mean? Like it does. Ha I, I, to be honest, I've seen a lot of death today. Really? Mm -hmm. Who'd well, you we see? were doing for this week's schedule for this week's last podcast. And left it is yeah. fucking. Gnarly. We're getting <laughs> real deep. It's hard. It's there's, hard to, to research it. But it's, there's live death I'm excited. Everywhere. I'm yeah. excited. You know what's know. funny is that I'm not having any trouble whatsoever researching it. I haven't had this fun researching something in months. You know, it's because it's the looking. I am trying to find. I'll talk about it in the show. Because there are things on it that I'm trying to find that are making tricky sentences to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, for, for me, man, I throw them. Caution to the whim when it comes to uh, Google and shit. Like, no, I don't let them investigate me. It's good press. No, it's years ago. Years ago, I got put on a list. They know what I do for a living. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. You point. know, they're all listening. Yeah. yeah, we got it. We got episodes in the police training academy of fucking Canada. Yeah. yeah. At least like now, like they know where you are, and everyone's friends. Yeah, and you also got to know like <laughs> which questions are not going to be answered by Google. Like you can't put into Google like how long can you fuck the corpse of a toddler before it completely disintegrates. Like there, no one's going to have an answer for you that. You know why? Yeah, it's because no. every necrophiliac has a different answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my uncle has been struck by lightning and survived twice. Ooh, that is Whitney. Wow. That is crazy. Very great outdoors of him. Yeah. Six, yeah. six, 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 six times. Six, That's a lot. Six, 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 oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, 67. I know you guys like the Irish. You're not Irish. Neither of you are Irish. Well, right? I've, no. I've apologized to the Irish because a long time I was saying stuff that's totally out of school, like mm -hmm. saying that they're a bunch of bog people that live underground and they all these, and then if you say anything about their mother, they'll punch you in the mouth. Yeah. And about how, like, was, oh, you know just, the old, you know, the old um, Irish drunk driving test. Or is it, you know this one? No. No, where they, they you know, the, the new Irish drunk driving test, and a cop pulls you over. They try to find out if you're drunk or not. Uh, they ask you how your mother is. If they take a swing at you, that you let them home. But if they start to cry, you got to take them in. Yeah, that's an Irish <laughs> joke. Because he has an Irish joke. He's allowed to say it. I've apologized to the Irish people. I think that you're fine. I love the Irish. In fact, one of my I have favorite no issues things, with Irish them. movies, the sad ass, I love a sad movie. Yeah. You do. And you the, love the Angelus. Irish. No, nothing sadder than an Irish movie. But this kid. Did you ever see that Irish porno, Angelus? asses <laughs> that would be a good one <laughs> that poor woman uh, with her multiple asses <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I I've come. <laughs> yeah. no, I always thought that I had some Irish in me, but when I did the 23andMe thing, I found out that I'm so British that the only Irish that I have in me is Northern Ireland. Ah, That's okay. it. That's the only is Belfast. It's the occupier. only place. That... You occupier. Sure. <laughs> Not anymore. All right. Let's see. Well, let's see what happens when you hire a little Irish kid to cut your lawn. Ugh. Fuck you, neighbor Patsy. You should have had me as bastard. <laughs> well, boys, I'm mowing the neighbor's lawn here, having the fucking wheel of a time. <laughs> <laughs> There's something funny about a little kid with like that type of a vehicle. <laughs> He's gonna grow up faster there. It's harder there, man. Oh yeah. You know. Honestly, also what, what we did learn is when we were on tour throughout Europe, Dublin, honestly, fantastic audiences. We yeah, went out great. to the fucking. We had a great time. But like, you just like can't lightly ask about the troubles. No. Because no. it turns out over there. He was real serious. Of yeah. course it's serious. Yeah, yeah. but I have always it's viewed... straight up terrorism. Yeah, but I <laughs> just know it as like, you know, you know, the, 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 the it was the town. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what I you really know about Irish people. Bomb, did you? No, never. Okay, that okay, I know okay. not to do. But it was that thing where you're like, you know, I asked some questions and then like I get the haunted responses from people and you're like, oh yeah, it's like Jerusalem here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's, it's tough. It's hard. Yeah. What's a good Irish movie? The Commitments. You ever seen Great that? movie. I never saw that movie. Oh, yeah. It's about an Irish soul band. It's unbelievable. I do know Dublin was the only place where me and Henry were actively bullied while we were on stage. Oh, yeah. When they made us kiss. Yeah, they made really? us kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. And kiss. you did it? 
Yeah. They, they wouldn't. Have a choice. They, they wouldn't, they let, they wouldn't let it go. We they, were gonna. They were gonna make us kiss. Yeah. If you you know how it is when you're in front of a crowd and you know they're not gonna let something go. They were they about to come on they, stage. Like it, they were gonna come on stage. Wow. Like, we might as well like pissed ourselves on stage. It would be great though. It's yeah. Good. They you loved kiss it. one of them. No, I. No, I can't do that. No, I mean, I, can't. I guess at least you know it's each other. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys kissed. Um, it was fine. All yeah. right. So I wanted to keep this in, the, in for a little while. It was flat, to be yeah. honest. It was yeah. emotionless. Yeah, it was motionless because we had been bullied by a bunch of Irishmen to do it. What are you gonna yeah. do? We just kind of like pressed together and yeah. then did it. Yeah, yeah, did we that, did a little bit. And then released. Yeah. And then said, huh? Yeah. Can we do our show now? Yeah, that was Basically, exactly how yeah. it went. That's exactly what like, can yes. I please move on? I oh, have a script that I need to get through. Cordy Sabrina, the nothing but troubles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be mad at you. Don't say that. They take it very seriously. Very much so. Now, I don't know if we're allowed to show the faces of children, but I found this on the internet. This is an Amish country. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what the rules are these days, but I think, you know. Yeah, it's not our kids. Why do people do that, though? I will say, when they post pictures of their own children, I do understand not showing the picture of the faces, but when they just put the black bars over them, like they're supposed to be, like they that's, were found in on a hard drive. That's just our friend Reed. I know, he did, but I've seen other ones with people the People like put bars. like a star over their face or some yeah. shit, or like a teapot or but some all fucking looks like Disney yeah. emotion. I appreciate that though. I appreciate them not putting their child, like not using their children but for games. But don't even show the fucking child at all. That's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, either that child is fucking doing something I like mm -hmm. or zero. All right? I don't want to fucking... That kid better be there fucking with the discount code for Tommy John's. Yeah. Or he better be fucking... I don't want to see it. All right, well, this little fucker's going to hate his parents for showing how stupid he is. Let's yeah. see it. He's going to hate him anyway. Penny pack, penny pack, penny pack, penny pack, gang. Penny pack, penny pack, penny pack, penny pack, penny pack, penny pack, gang. Penny pack, 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 penny pack,
It's super <laughs> dash human spelled with two M's. Q M M A N. Oh, but okay. I don't think it was on purpose. But he he did this thing where I guess he does it all for Juggalo Nation. Oh, so okay. he'll jump into that one was really satisfying because I like the crunch and yeah. the thing and it bending. And then him he him been being in pain and having the <laughs> breath knocked out of him and going because he yeah, jumps into funny. a bunch of shit. Do you have more of it? No, that's the only one I have. Because they have so many of these, of him jumping into um, fluorescent tubes. Oh, that's, into they various love that. Stuff. They love that. Because, again, that makes it good. It's got the powder that shoots up. Yeah, the barbed wire pool. He jumped into a pool full of barbed wire. He flipped, front flipped into broken glass. Um, oh. He's great. Superhuman. Moon Shout missed. out to you. Everyone yeah. go uh, go subscribe to Superhuman. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't encourage him. Whitney says this generation's grape lady. Because we all know that feeling. Oh, my oh. God. You can't do anything else but scream. Well, I remember the one time I was trapped in the corner of a bouncy house. And I was already a fucking 285 pound child. <laughs> and so when I was trapped in that corner, again, I was just like, <laughs> Somebody you know, get out. but then I flipped to the front and then all of a sudden I'm back like this going like, oh, 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 because it really was all. And then all the kids, of course, saw the fat kid being super vulnerable. So they're like, fucking stick him. And then it was just like, oh, stop it. My back, my back, my back hurts. My pancreas? My back hurts. Oh. Hurt me real bad. And yeah, I made the grape lady noise. <laughs> it's hard though. I get it. I do it now. Yeah. Really. I remember the one time I made the grape lady noise was when a bunch of kids cornered me in an alleyway and threw a football really hard right at my stomach at close range. Then I went to the ground store going, oh, and started doing this. And so for the whole next year at school, like kids would come up and be like, hey, Marcus, remember? And it was just that. That was my identity for all of seventh grade. Man, I wish uh, we had that as a sound drop. No, when they did it, it was much funnier. You know, they had they had the because they had time to workshop it. And yeah, and the accent. Get really so. get yeah. They had to get they got it down so really so come well. for you. Yeah, oh, so man. well they really came from you. Really I was that thinking year. about um, we talked about them a while ago. The muleys, how are they doing? I mean, as far as I know, man, what if they were huge on like in like crypto? <laughs> <laughs> for guys who don't remember, the Muleys were the mentally handicapped family that just kept making more they of. Would them. Just they were the inbred naked family, everywhere, and they yeah, had yeah. really long huge penises. Kicks. Yeah, huge they were dicks, the inbred yeah. family. Yeah, that I. I've driven by. God, it's been many years since I've actually been back to Rochester proper because mm-hmm. I don't. I don't have any family there anymore. Do you okay. think that your parents can get their number and we can call them? I mean, I'm sure they're in the book. Yeah, we should try to call Actually, them. I don't know if they have a phone. Wouldn't they fuck? Wasn't From- he fucking the watermelon? Uh, no, but that's interesting how you put that together, though. Yeah. No, what they did is they had a watermelon stand ah, okay. on the side yeah, of the there highway, it is. There but they it is. Were, and you conflated the two because one time a uh, friend of the family was driving by their house one night and they saw Bobby oh. in the front yard or like right next to the highway. Jumping up and down like a cactus, and his dick was flopping his belly button. I want to call him. You don't want to call him. I'd love to hear. We should get a bunch of questions to ask him about how do you feel about Hamas, Palestine. (laughs) We should get a bunch of stuff in there, like hardcore, hard topic questions, and just fire it at him and just see what he says. Bobby Muley might be like. You want to like Forrest Gump kind of style where he says a bunch of stuff that heals. Uh, he can heal. I don't know if he's a healer. I don't know if he's still alive. I don't know if that anyone in that they have to be. Some of them have to be alive. Although I don't know, maybe COVID wiped out the whole lot of them. I mean, or they made them stronger. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, honestly, he's got a big dick as a snorkel. He's a vent, <laughs> his own ventilator. Sleazy <laughs> Dan <laughs> says, a cor- Uncle Corner and Trauma Corner are definitely a Venn diagram. Oh, Sleazy Dan's <laughs> yeah, over oh, here, yeah, too? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's here, hey, yeah, yeah. what's up, Sleazy? We talked Wait, on the radio show a couple days ago. Nate says, I was so fat, I had to get rescued from a McDonald's Playland. <laughs> oh, That's Nate, the best. That's good for you, buddy. That's the best. <laughs> oh. Oh, were you stuck in the fucking slide? Man. <laughs> that's I the best. 
I, have to be I remember one fly. time I was on a banana boat in Haiti with my father and it flipped over on the side and everyone else had the common sense to just like fall in the water but I held on <laughs> and then my, my swimming trunks came off and I was just naked and they pulled me in the boat naked and I just had to sit there with my hand over my dick in Haiti <laughs> ah, and wait till they got a towel and I just had to sit there on the beach for hours waiting ah. for the boat to come to take me back to the cruise ship and I was just naked and embarrassed. I'll and always yeah. remember Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time uh, <laughs> um, and you hated it. Uh, right. Nate says it was in the Mayor McCheese thing. <laughs> oh. I got stuck and the management had to call the cops. The jail. I mean, yes, and that's so funny because the cops dealing with the little fat kid. <laughs> yeah, they, are they so gotta call the fire department. They have at least a little bit of sympathy. The cops just show up and just be like, then maybe uh, you stick them in there for a couple days and we'll feed them some fucking hamburgers you can get. <laughs> That's like my father's sense of humor. I can see it very, very clearly. Because I remember when I had to go into the emergency room because I stuck a bunch of stuff up my nose. Really? Yeah. A bunch of banana. I peeled all the stickers off a bunch of fruit. And then just stuck them all up my nose, and I had to go to the emergency room. Yeah, kids are so fucking. Stupid. Give us us free. Oh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. How'd you get in? Well, there's a door or something, probably. Yeah, but yeah. then how do you, you? I guess sometimes there's a hatch in the back. Sometimes it's easier to get in places than it is to get out. If yeah. you want to go in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes just fat lets you in. Yeah, isn't it easier to get? You can get your head through some stairs, like but then, and yeah, then, then you can't. Stuck. You can't get back out again. Yeah, yeah, because your face, because the front of your face is thinner than the back of your head. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, physics. I'm glad you're not dead, Nate. Um, so, I mean, he's just commenting. It could be a robot. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marcus, we've we've been working on this recently, and we're teaching Henry about football. Yes. And I'm learning all about it. Yeah. I know what a safety does now. Yes. That's nice. Right? I asked him if he knew what secondary meant earlier today. He did not. I Well, I know it's defense. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Well, that's close enough. Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, I wanted to do... We, I put together a couple football videos. That's great. I'm the man! And then I think the best... <laughs> way to like to ease someone into to liking football who also likes violence is just like a bunch of big hits because yeah. that's the thing is that i love yeah. violence and i will say i immediately now understand because even i'm watching and being like oh ref why does he just hit him with his fucking purse yeah. you know what I mean? like, i'm saying stuff like that now it's like fun to do be like he barely fucking touched him yeah, yeah. Are, th are these like old school like zach thomas oh like, yeah this like is gonna be these are, the first one we're gonna watch is all about wedge busters oh okay Okay, yeah, right. do you know what wedge busters no, are? No, I don't, but oh, I like okay. how it sounds. Really, they're going to explain it perfectly here I in this video. I kids it's, fucking try to bust a wedge on me, and it just fucking broke my underwear. Hell yeah, I bet you did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, now what is the is that, wedge busters? I'm guessing this is some sort of like, okay, this is uh, it's an anti-bullying mechanism. We like to talk to them about being a rolling ball of butcher knives. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> The wedge buster is the irresistible now this, oh yes, force. This, this is, is illegal, illegal now. This the is wedge all illegal now. is the immovable object. Yeah, back when they meet, can't believe this one, one or the other must them. give. Yeah, slam them together. Big guys. Big hits. Yeah, big boys. Ooh. Yeah, HS. Yeah. 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 So basically, one dude wedge just... busters are pro football's green berets. <laughs> the special forces of special teams. <laughs> These Absolutely are all the no guys fear. who don't have you know, other, need other have jobs. Drop of fear in his body. <laughs> the old Tasmanian devil that just comes down and creates havoc wherever he is. Wedge busters ride to the sound of the gun. When you turn a kick, they would form a wedge, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that the They're thing? Busters. The three big ass dudes would all hold hands and run down the field, and then one guy tries to take them all out. That's very nice. That's very togetherness. On this furious cavalry charge, most will be cut down long before ever reaching the objective. Yeah, the cool. Wedge. I like the guy's voice. Steve Sable. He's very serious. Happy birthday, a pimp <laughs> called Be sure that he takes uh, uh, a number of blockers uh, to get him out Jerry of the We don't want to trade one for one. We I love would like Jerry more Glanville. than two. Man, this is bad. Again, man, everybody's got mouth cancer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> occupy enough people that uh, another man is free to, to make the, the good hit on the ball here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to keep yeah. him inside the 20, and it works. Oh, yeah, kill oh, him. Wedge <laughs> busters sacrifice themselves. 
Yeah, but then they, they end up getting CT and killing their, their families. So oh, that's only really happened a couple times. Most of them just killed. They just died. Its perimeter. Marnie, I've never seen anything I'm more unfamiliar with. This what is. Do you, do you want to figure out what? Yeah. Men yeah. Think? Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. So cute. This is fun. This is I feel masculine. Yeah. No, this is great. We're teaching. Lindsay, everybody. none of these yeah. people are still alive. No. No. They are all. Just, might be. Yeah. Well, they have either all bottle people. They have like car dealerships. Oh, it's a thing on the the 84 bear or 85. Five bears. Uh -huh. Yeah, the other day, like most of them were pretty lucid, except for the offensive coordinator. He is a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it be like, all the I sure do like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> most of the players, though, were still very, very lucid. You know, the Super Bowl shuffle, I was just on the stage where they filmed it. Oh, you missed a good one. God. <laughs> I shouldn't have been paying attention to you. That's all right. That's fine. See, That's the fine. problem is, again, they're, they're hitting each other really hard. It's fun. I mm -hmm. like to do it, but at the same time, don't hit me. Yeah, yeah. Of course, See, I don't, don't like roughhousing. I like seeing them roughhouse, but I don't <laughs> like roughhousing. <laughs> Lindsay says the only stuff I know about football I learned on the Aaron Hernandez documentary, which, which again good. makes sense. Yes. Yeah, it was a good you documentary. Uh, Chelsea's saying this now that you're doing doing the show. We should cover Aaron Hernandez. I would love that. Nice. Actually, interesting. I think that'd be great because you know, fuck the Patriots. Yeah, that, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's all about. Well, I can't always say fuck the Patriots. My boy Wes Welker was on the Patriots for a long time. I love so, Wes Welker, you know. but he was a much better Dolphin than uh, he was a Patriot. Aaron that's Hernandez true. was the one who was probably gay, right? That they yes. had, yeah. and yes. he he killed was it his three lover? He killed three people, and then he killed himself. No, well, yes, in his jail cell. Oh yeah, that's right. Big yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. They make the sheet strong. And oh, Russell is like, honestly, this is a really touching story. Is that Wedge Busters was the porno his grandfather had a heart attack to? Uh oh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. I like that guy. Yeah, yeah like that. let's book him for next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we I, I can't show football without showing a little Dan Marino. So yes, that's I great. feel like a lot of people assumed that most of your mandate would, would be all Dan Marino. Would be Dan Marino, because Dan Marino, let's for the crowd, for those of you who don't know, right? Great Italian-American. Incredible <laughs> West Florida Italian-American. Well, he's from Pittsburgh. Yo, that's right, he is from my, he's from my wife's hometown. Yeah, he's like the patron saint of Pittsburgh and Miami. Yes, What's going Corey on says, I don't know. <laughs> Corey says, I just, Corey says, I feel like I'm visiting my dad, just sitting in silence as sports things are on. Embrace it. Yeah. Embrace it. You guys, come on, teaching Henry so we can start spending Sundays together. You know, I great. have a bussy too, all right? And you need to <laughs> open the bussy and let the oblong football-shaped cock get in there because, yeah. again, it doesn't really matter. Again, it's just boys playing roughhouse, yeah. and then it's fun to do. And I like the ads. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, now Taylor Swift is there. She's all about it. She loves yeah. it. You know, She's what's so funny sucks. is that now that you're on the like now that you're on the show, like I do look at Henry, and I just want to put him in some pads and just like start fucking doing drills with him. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, you can teach me how to snap. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, I, wanted to, I would definitely. That's what we'll do my next mandate. I'll teach you how to long snap. Yeah, I would snap. <laughs> I'm gonna be masculine. I mean, I still call it like rehearsal. <laughs> you know, like going to me like, oh, it took years rehearsal. for me to stop calling murder fist rehearsal practice. Yes, ah, I, just, I, I always I, call I, it practice. <laughs> always, pra I never say use the word rehearsal. Even in, when I was in theater, we called it practice. But you yeah. know, I, you know what it is though. It's like football is still very masculine for me. I like basketball. Yeah. Hell yeah. Basketball's great. I Basketball's like basketball fine. Too, but not when I see you do this. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen me at the Lakers games, man. I just oh. go like, yeah, the hoop. <laughs> Get him, buddy. You I just, root for the ball. Yeah. <laughs> that ball is doing crazy things. <laughs> I just, I, I appreciate their athleticism. And now I understand that deep within the game of football, there's humanity. Yeah, there is. Because of the strategy. All right, Dan Marino, let's take it away. Every day. You'll get round-trip airfare and tickets to a game, a complete uniform, and a chance to meet me. Stay tuned. I'll have details on how to enter, and we'll be announcing a winner later tonight. Is he fucking, you have a brain tumor? Did not flub at all. <laughs> there was no fucking flub. It was not a flub. No, come on. Let's do it. Fuck it. <laughs> Real competitor. <laughs> I had that hat, by the way. Yeah. You wash away. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Dan Marino from the Miami Dolphins. Welcome to Visa NFL Quarterback Club Week on. I hope you've enjoyed your Thanksgiving mm -hmm. day. We have more NFL action on.
this Sunday starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. But tonight, you'll get a chance to be my backup quarterback for a day. You'll get round trip, airfare, and tickets to a game, a complete uniform, and a chance to meet me. Stay tuned. I'll have details on how to enter, and we'll be announcing a winner later tonight. <laughs> Fuck it, send it in. Sunglasses, Dan, yeah. Nope. I don't well, he see never shit. won a Super Bowl, right? No, he no. only went to one. But he's and not as a spectator. No, <laughs> he, no, he he lost to Joe Montana his second year. Yeah. Oh, Jason says he's a penis of a man. Don't you say that because Ed is literally contracted to find you to beat the living shit out of you. But he has to. But this is but that's the thing, right? That's what the Dolphins' curse is. Is that he also wasn't he the quarterback when they were undefeated and they still went to the Super Bowl and lost? No, no, no. That was the Patriots that happened too. Hmm. Yeah. Dan Marino never went undefeated. Never yeah. even close. I mean, one time he lost like four games. So why do... Can I just say this? He's why, the best. Why do we like him? Because he's a fucking winner. He's a really good quarterback. He's got all the... He used to have all the... But he didn't win numbers. it. He didn't complete. No, he could, but... Never, that he never won at all, but no. Now, now that doesn't mean that they're not... Like Barry Sanders. Never like won from the fight. He never won, but... He knocks he was, him down the list, right? <laughs> but he's unbelievable. Look at him. Look no, at him. I love him. Man, where's your mother? Is this <laughs> not... This is now me. It's completely new to sports, right? This is me completely new, new to sports, right? Yeah. If you're not winning championships, then who fucking gives a shit? Well, some people say that, but those people don't have no respect for their own teams. Exactly. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at that champion. Oh, my. You are my number one guy. Because sometimes these guys just get put into bad situations. Like Barry Sanders was put into he was, Detroit. He had to play for Detroit. He LeBron had to play basically Detroit. played whole teams by himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you're a basketball guy. We see what's going on. Yeah, we get it. We get it. But that's the thing. Is that there's uh, 10 other guys on that field with that guy. And those 10 other guys, if you're still good despite being on a shitty team, that's the mark of a true champion. I agree. Mm. I do. I know that. I know this. I'm just being contrarian because, but I also, like, I do understand in a way. Because, like, actors... And man, if with actors, <laughs> it's not not everybody needs an Oscar or an award because they, again, those are sold. That's right. And then it's fucking politics. That's right. Okay. But when it Sam comes to Rockwell, down to, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got nothing. He's a great actor. But he's at the same time, though, but the Super Bowl is still merit based, right? You still arrive at the Super Bowl. You still have to best another team in the moment. Yes. Mm. So isn't it not at the heart of a champion, at the very bottom of the heart of the champion, isn't it being able to take the pressure of one of the biggest moments in it's your life? It's better if you win, yes. Yeah, it's much better if yeah, you win. Yeah, it's better, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, for, by the way, my new best friend's in the comments right now. <laughs> yes. His name is Ozzy. Yes, and the <laughs> Dolphins are, yes. The Dolphins are the only team to ever go undefeated and win the Super Bowl. 1972, thank you, Ozzy. Ozzy, my stepmom gives my dad a Christmas gift from Dan Marino every year. And they're gonna be together fucking forever. Yeah. <laughs> Is it isotoners? <laughs> Wait, it's like lemon bars. I think Dan Marino hired some goons to kidnap his own grandkids so he could be a hero or something. Yeah, oh, we're uh, gonna chase that down. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to chase that down. I would fucking love. I loved to, it. I would love it. That's Again, true. I respect him. Yeah, I respect that. All right, we're going to do one more football video, okay? And this is one you've all probably seen, but I wanted to, since it is last podcast, I wanted to have at least one gross one. Great. Sure. Um, so let's let's hit is number, it, number is there, nine. Is, is there going to be a big snap here? Yeah, that's big yeah, snap. I yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know yeah, talking yeah, I know what we're about to watch here. Boom. There's a moment of orderly silence before a football play begins. Players yep. are in position. Linemen are frozen. Riggins is a great name, by the way. Great, great name. In summer weather here, mid Riggins. You ever seen this, Henry? Then, like a traffic accident, stuff begins to randomly collide. She's doing like a lady of version of Matthew the McConaughey. Of the first yeah. bone is closer <laughs> to four seconds than five. And I'm in the How Flea fast it can all go wrong? Okay, looks okay. Looks a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, you got you know, yeah, yeah, taken down, right? Joe Theismann. The Redskins quarterback takes a snap and hands off to his running back. Is that the th th Joe Theismann? To Mississippi. You're it's a trick named play. after his calves. The flea flicker. <laughs> and the running back tosses the ball back to the quarterback. Flea flicker. And here Three we go. Here comes Lawrence Taylor. Up to yeah, now, the play's been defined by I what the quarterback sees. <laughs> I like it's defense. About to be you got me in on by what he doesn't. For Mississippi. Orange Taylor is the best LT. defensive player in the NFL. It has been from the time back when athletes onto the field like as a rookie. Crackheads. Full drops. Yeah, he was a crackhead. Oh, yeah. Crackhead. For most of his career. Shows. Just get, see that, kids? It will also change the game of football 
as we know it. And we'll look at it with the reverse angle one more time, and I suggest your stomach is weak. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yes, oh, oh, oh. Legendary quarterback <laughs> Joe Theismann never played another down of football. I once watched him lose $20,000 at a poker table. Theismann or right. Joe Theismann. Joe Theismann. Yeah. What if his what? You know how they always do the thing when you go, you give yourself the thumbs up, they, when you're in the cart, you go like, and everyone's like, yeah. What if it's just that his foot raised up? <laughs> it was just like, like a one toe came out. Or just like your thumb <laughs> yeah. falls off to the side. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, well. oh, wait, no, Lemon Bars. Apparently, it was Joe Montana that saved his grandkid from a kidnapper. I oh, think I remember that. Makes that. More sense. Yeah. That's cool I, I feel hell. like if I would have known, and Cal Ripken's mother got kidnapped. So there's a lot of stuff. There. Really? Hey, man, yeah. You ever hear about that? Senior or junior? Uh, uh, well, they're, you know, uh, oh, junior. It was, uh, so it was senior's wife. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Did anything happened with her? Or we were like, God, we hate Fucking this. Baltimore went crazy, and they found the bitch. Yeah. Whoa, they found her. Of course they found her. Yeah, it's probably she was Cal Ripken's mother. <laughs> Hey, I'm Carl Ripken's mother. You can't. What's her name? From, you from, can't hit. You know, from, <laughs> throw mama from the train. What's her oh, name? I don't know her name. Yeah. Yeah. She's great, though. Um, Leo, so this is, I don't even know if I want to say this comment to you. The further back you have to go to talk about your team's glory years like 1972, your team probably sucks ass. I know. <laughs> I know. All these other fucking cities with their good teams that score but now points Miami's crushing it. kickers with feet and shit. Yeah, but now Miami's crushing it. Oh, or, or that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you yeah. could be like Eric over there who's wearing a Detroit Lions hat. Detroit. They're having a good season. I could see the, the Dolphins going against the Lions in the Super Bowl. They're having a very good season, but they've also never been good. Yes. But that's the idea. Well, they've we, always been like, they've had some decent years. I think they've been, I think they've won, what, two playoff games during their entire reign? Uh, one playoff game since 91. Don't get okay. him mad while he's running the show. <laughs> yeah, 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 There's yeah, no yeah, reason to insult the man he's while he's doing. Pre-Super Bowl era. I just, oh, okay. I just right. don't know, right. man. This is one of those where my, my whole thing is I don't want to stake my happiness on the performance of others. Yeah, I want to yeah. make sure I'm failing me. Mm -hmm. You know, if I if I got my shit on the line, I totally said that's why I like watching football dissociatively. Yeah, I watch them. I watch football like I'm waiting to find out news from the hospital. Well, the thing is, there's <laughs> nothing, I just watch it. There's nothing like going to the game, you know. And the best part yeah. of going to the game is the parking lot beforehand. Yeah, tailgating. Maybe. And here's the tradition they have in the um for the Buffalo Bills. I feel like you guys would like this. Oh yeah. I'm learning. I'm being man. Mm -hmm. I love hot dogs. Yeah. I love a taco truck. I like a lot of beers. I like mojitos. I like fucking when they, they do a big man, like, rib. The thing. Miami Dolphins like parking lot is like a fucking nightclub. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's kind of crazy to me. All right, let's see this one, Eric. The oh, Bills. Yeah, yeah. Damn, it's a big flag. This is a good tradition in Buffalo. They're so stupid, they body slam their wives in the church. Yeah. <laughs> That's a buffalo thing. Yeah, it is a buffalo. Oh! She's, she's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cool. <laughs> you just threw all of, They just have a huge... Oh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Is she dead? Is she dead? Yeah! Let me kill her! <laughs> <laughs> what does that even do? I don't know. <laughs> that is, you mostly missed the table. You just threw her in the dirt. Uh, <laughs> that is a brutal fall. Yeah. Fuck the bitch. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Punch her in the head! <laughs> yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's beat her! Let's get sticks! Who's got a stick? Let's beat the shit out of her! Oh my god. You know what? I get it. I get it. That's football, baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, you, know at the, you should see me before the Oscars. I get one full go of heroin. <laughs> one full, like, laser. Every time I'm about to go to see the Oscars, I just always make sure I'm fully. I'm a... <laughs> It's very Denzel of you. <laughs> <laughs> he is a performance enhancing drunk for him. Uh, Will Satan, I once worked an event where he was the speaker and he said his name was pronounced Thiesman, but his high school coach told him that if they told him if they pronounced it the other way, he'd win the Heisman. Wow. Oh. They were wrong. 
I don't know. He might have won. I have no idea. I don't know. Freddy Google, who says white people don't have culture. Hey, we talked about fucking liver and onions yeah. for 20 minutes. It's cuckle. Cuckle. Um, all right. Um, you guys go to the chiropractor? No, I've, I've, gone. I've gone a couple times and it's just, eh. It wasn't for you? It wasn't no, for I me. don't go. Because, again, it's pseudoscience. Yeah. I don't think it's real. I mean, we're already going to get, you know, I'm going to get feedback for that. But honestly, I don't believe in it. I need they're to just, go. I really want to go. I went once when I was 18 and I loved it and I haven't been back Dude, since. Dude, just get a sports massage. They do all the same stuff. Sports massage? Yes. Get a sports massage. A guy Sounds comes there, illegal. he's got a jersey on, he pours nacho cheese on you. <laughs> no. no, but it's like, <laughs> but a sports massage is great because then they'll crack your bones. I have still a thing where they'll push my hip. That's what I want. Yeah. All right, but check out. I, found, woman will I, do I that. found this new um, this new uh, chiropractor that I really want to uh, be friends with. Oh wow, great! Oh, oh no! Ah! I just <laughs> look how happy he is. Oh. <laughs> I just <laughs> wow, you I mean, really yeah. man! Gosh. <laughs> 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 oh man! <laughs> this is not real. This is not real. He's in Germany. He's in Germany. His name what is, is he Bones, Bones Hands Animals. Yeah, that is not real. Yeah, no, it is real. No. Yeah, no, this guy's very. He loves every, every animal loves him for it. I. No, man. You should not be fucking cracking well, the Don't do it at home. For sure. Don't do it at home. God, God no. It. No, don't I was going to. I'm going to go right up to Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come here. Let me see. <laughs> oh, 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 her old fucking head, her fucking head popped off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but um, bones, bones hands, animals. It's only in Germany, this guy. Yeah. yeah, if you need to get your dog fucking dislocated, send him to Germany. Well, isn't that where like Troy Aikman? That's where you go to get a legal. I know Kobe legal. used to go to get all the stem cells treatment and all that shit. But that's where they go, right? Isn't that where because we because we just don't do it. Don't you go either that or you go to like the Caribbean or something? That's where you go to get mm. the fetus stuff like jabbed in you to make you Germany's better the best for it though. I know that. His much. name's Bones Handsman? Bones Hands Animals. Dog chiropractor. Bones Hands Animals. Bones yeah. Hands Animals. Is it his name's Hans? Bones Hans? Hands. Hands, okay. Hands. Like hands. Uh, hands. I gotta yeah, look yeah, this yeah, up. Yeah. His name is Murat Kolak. Yeah. yeah, no, he's great. This guy's great. He's gigantic, too. And he, he's like, I mean, every video is better than the last. That, it's that, just him snapping the necks of Rottweilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the size of this fucking dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this no, is no, like no. a six-foot-tall dog. No, he's he snapping gets in his there. back. Yeah, no, he gets him in a full Nelson, and he fucking slaps him. It's great. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, he man. Gets, Whoa, he's doing a... A snake? Yeah, no, he does everything. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's, he's oh, down for whatever. Do, oh, How do you even know the snake? snake's in pain? I don't know. Yeah, that's the other thing. You know, I got a crick in my fucking all of me. Oh. He's it's an entire spine. Yeah. Oh, Saint John, my mom's dog is a broken penis. So that's you know. I mean, what are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, honestly, in the vet, he, if you tell the dog, tell him that the dog got a broken penis. Mm -hmm. Takes care of it for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. glues it back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does horses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huge dress. Uh, joins his slam. <laughs> yeah, 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 in danger. I mean, he, he's not showing the videos where he kills him. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No way! I want to look at the picture of him fucking strangling. <laughs> what is? What is happening over there? This is not real. He's just strangling him. This is not good. How do you know the dog needs an adjustment? <laughs> Every time they just look at him and they start smiling and wagging their tails and kissing him well, and shit. According to well, Lindsay here says when your dog owner Oh, oh god. Oh, I hate this do? fucking shit. Uh, my dog gets adjusted when needed along with acupuncture. Yeah. Wiener dog. I see it with a wiener dog, yeah. Yeah, because they got those long spines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy, he's great. You know, get get into it. Everybody. Yeah. Hey, hi. So I have a very. I can see the the comment from here. A very strange comment. Very strange sports uh, association. Lemon Bar says I actually paid Kirby Puckett's grandson to put my wife in the Scorpion Deathlock when the Twins made it to the playoffs this year. I actually uh -huh. don't know what all of that is. Yeah. <laughs> Kirby Puckett. Per, Kirby, Kirby Puckett. Puckett I remember him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, He's the, the cool twins. one and. 
what was it? Uh, Tony Gwynn's the bad one. They look the same, and they like one's evil and one's nice. <laughs> who was Oz? Who, who's the guy that was Oz? Bubble gum head. Yeah. Who's the, the Ozzy guy? Oz, the Wizard of Oz. Uh, Ozzy Smith. Yeah, that guy. Oh yeah, yeah, from Cincinnati. Yeah. No, wait, no, he was St. Louis. Who gives a shit, guys? Um, all right, so I can't wait past. to adjust Carmen tonight. Do you guys like? Uh, you guys like <laughs> elephant seals? Yeah, I love elephants. Yeah, I don't want them in the room. All right, well, don't fucking uh, pull up to the bay next to this guy. Let's no, I want. I I know what you're about to t talk about. Number elements, thirteen. Element seals are fucking nasty. They're fucking badass. They're man. intense. They fourteen hundred pounds. They dude. will rip your tits off. Yeah, man. They are not fucking. Real. Despite posted warning signs, people continue to park their cars too close to the home Pixar of this Pixar giant movies, elephant seal. These seals are like and fucking he's dogs. not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> the beast has started to issue his own warning. Is this your first day that you are here? Get out of the car! He right up out of the bay. <laughs> to let these drivers know he wow. means business. Well, if the gentleman can send him to park his van in there in the first place... This big guy won't <laughs> stop until he's finished making his point. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Finally, he's all tuckered out and ready to call it a day. Yeah. But when he heads for home, he finds that some unhappy drivers have blocked his way. Asshole. The lawyer stays Finds the way back the to the they're amazing and they're two and a half north of you right now, Henry. I'm and scared of these. No I want to go see these things. In his I'll go look at them. Hell but I'm yeah. not going anywhere. Incredible. They will fuck you up. All right, one more elephant seal video. This is just a fun one. This guy's so cute. I love. I want to make this guy my friend. Oh yeah, we. Well, that's a good idea, Ozzy. Have you ever seen what they do to penguins? It's perfect for the stream. Yeah. It's oh, really man. awful. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 Can we see that one more time, please? That oh, was fun. <laughs> I do want to watch you rip it apart a bunch of penguins, though. I, I'll do oh, that. Oh, they do it. They do it. They rip. Their fights are fucking epic. Yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> That's cool as hell. That was good. I like. You got some. You got some hang time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking sweet. I love them. Oh, let's do this right before we get to the full ending. Just so you know, next week, right? Yeah, starting next week. We're gonna go earlier for the live stream. We we we're, we are ready to do this. What time? I don't know. We'll it, talk about this. You gotta talk to me. About oh, this. I, thought, I actually thought you guys talked about it before. But we'll talk about I, it. I, I hadn't talked to him about it before. I thought you. <laughs> talk, I thought you talked to him about it. No, we'll I have get like there. Other we'll, things I do. We'll, we'll figure it. Okay, we'll figure it. 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 We'll figure it.
<laughs> what is that other guy even gonna do? No, they're still alive. You can see them moving in the car. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm certain they're yeah, great. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Look at that. Shows the power of the Volvo. <laughs> that's a good. Yeah, that's a good car. There you go. Don't fuck with a Rhino, man. No, never fuck with a Rhino. Not to. Don't I remember fuck one with time any my of these dad. Animals. We had Lion Country Safari in uh, West Palm Beach. They got like all these animals around. Sometimes you come back to your car and there's like a lion sitting on it or something. And uh, they, my dad, remember when I was a kid, got out to piss by the rhinos and I thought he was going to die in front of me. But he, he was doing that on purpose too, just to watch you because he was making <laughs> you laugh. Well, I remember we went to the Bush Gardens. They, the Bush Gardens used to have the drive in mm -hmm. safaris and they should have just not have let that happen. Yeah. Yeah. There was just like, the lions are not supposed to be. Like at an amusement park, they're kind no. of fun though. They are fun, but they're just not supposed to be there. You guys, you know, they would be at a zoo. I feel like they should be in a sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Let's check back in on the balloon guy. Let's Jason says, "Henry, are. FYI, Grub Up is a sandwich week deal where you get a free Baconator with the twenty dollars Wendy's order." I know what I'm doing for Christmas. Mm. Whole family's getting. Them. All right, um, Balloon Man. Let's see what, what's going on with him, Eric. Say no. Get him in the water. That was loud. Oh, so he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. he lived. He lived. I'm not gonna show anyone die. You Come never on. know. You never know. Well, I don't know. What does you? I can't tell. Someone need to go save him. Hey! Someone need to go cut hey! him. You stay here. Yeah, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Does someone beat the Is there something? I feel like we should. Is that it? I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was alive. I think so, but he could have drowned. I mean, imagine you get wrapped up in a balloon like that. I mean, I feel like it's. Oh God, I guess if you get. If you land hard, too. If you're coming down in a really, like, intense pitch, yeah. and then you hit that water because it's just, like, fucking solid. Also, It'll just like, break your leg or Yeah, or you just you try to swim out. You're wrapped up in a giant balloon. That's one of my worst nightmares. Yeah, that happens when people try to uh, land in, uh, with parachutes. They land in water, they often drown in the uh, parachute. Yeah. So wow. That's cool. Another horror. Of World War II. <laughs> it's hard, man. That's why I don't parachute. I don't do anything in which I will voluntarily put my life in the hands of a man with 15 hours of training. Mm hmm Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Right? Yeah. I, we, I'm never going to skydive. I will never skydive. I should have done it when I was younger. I would have done it then. Yeah. Have you ever skydived? No, I would. I, I think it is one of those things that the time has passed. The time has passed. The time right? has passed. I don't think I need to The oldest skydiver just died. Of skydiving? No, she died of natural causes, but she skydived at 104. Wow. I mean, yeah. but I also then, once you hit 90, you're just me. You know what I mean? Just yeah. strap me to the biggest guy you got. Yeah. Because then I'll probably re-go back into not caring anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. You, you skydiving with your paralyzed friend? That's great. Rob? Oh, well. Good for them. Good for Was you. It, did they like it? Or were they like, why, why are you doing this to me? No, he loved it. Great. Good. Good, he liked it. Oh, yeah. No, I thought he just, he knew he was going, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Where we go? Oh, so we're going down there. We're going to go to Palm Springs. Or, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, the only way I would, like, love to skydive is, like, if I ever got, like, blackout drunk and just woke up in midair. Oh, then at least it would be. <laughs> At least afterwards, I would have been done. Yeah. I would have been like, I guess I skydive. <laughs> Which is fine with me. Life goal, convince Henry to skydive. I don't know. I think I would, uh, unfortunately, it would take- Content. It would take a big show, but it would take like more than content. And that's how you get into the show. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's yes. gonna be like an arena, not an arena, because that has a roof. No, of course. Well, I have to be, it has to be for show business, because then I'll do it, because yeah, then like, I just forget. Oh. Yes. Well, like if there's ever like a pep rally or something like that. <laughs> Nate, one more fat story. I was supposed to take a hot air balloon ride and I was too fat to get lift off. <laughs> oh, Nate. <laughs> That's fate. That yeah, is yeah. good. It's important. That's a good that you were fighting. Right, was so it fate that he got caught in the Mayor McCheese cage? Is that know, also it, fate? What, what were his crimes? <laughs> <laughs> they think they did view him as a serial killer of french fries. Guys, um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, first death video live leak I saw was a 90-year-old skydiving for her birthday. She died in her first time skydiving because she was so excited. <laughs> she died of a heart attack midair. And honestly, you know, God take the wheel. I mean, honestly, then you 90. just pop the thing. Because if she was dead on me, I'd be like, pop it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just flies off. That'd be cool as hell if you're an instructor. Well, what a great stream. I'm what glad we got stream. to this. We'll announce. We'll figure out all the stuff with the fucking stream. We're going to figure out all that kind we'll of stuff. We'll figure it out. Um, guys. Liver um, and onions. Liver and onions. Great new first mandate. Yes. Thank Love you. It. Thank you. Start off strong. Start right. off strong. I believe next week we're doing a Fernand date. So we'll get some so. isopods in there, hopefully, because I heard some people are still not yet fully emotionally scarred by the isopods. And I think that's important. I found out the lacquer in the isopod is its blood. Oh, that horrible brown shit that yeah. squirts out of it? It's blood. Wow. It squirts blood? It squirts I guess lacquer. Do. It's got like a lacquer to it. It's got like a juice that comes out of it. Yeah, it's, it's a very soup. juicy I mean, type I definitely want to yeah. eat one. You don't. You don't. They are bottom shrimp. Well, we're gonna so have crabs. We're gonna get lobster we're gonna go bottom feeders all next week. It's it, but it's the brown Clamps. it's the brown juice that comes out of it. It doesn't look appetizing. We're gonna talk well, about I'm it next week. I'm not eating the juice. I'm gonna drain it properly. You don't drink the blood of a fish. I'll show you cooking videos. We've watched isopod cooking videos. They do not look appetizing. Yeah, it looks bad. And the people <laughs> who eat it are like, oh, that's bad. Even when like a professional chef like that tries, tries really hard. Because I love shrimp. All that's right. what I was saying. Because I was pro uh, eating isopod. Man, and remember those turned. shrimp we had in Italy? It was oh. like foot long fuckers. Yeah, that was good. Man, they were God, great. And they were the biggest shrimp out of a goddamn city. Ah, Italy. We'll never get back. Because mm. it's going to sink to the ocean. See Come everyone on, guys. later. Bye, fuckers. Have Bye a good one. See you next week. A balloon that hits a power line. He's going down in the water. The charred balloon landing in a nearby pond. Two fishermen scrambling to pull the pilot from the smoldering basket. He was kind of flailing away and yelling, and then that's when he broke free. I thought when we got over there that. Uh... It wasn't going to turn out so well, but it did. The pilot, who was miraculously unharmed, was towed to land along with his balloon. Wow!